absolutely correct. 12. 12, dude. Dude, let's get it. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. You, if we fuck up a lot. Alrighty, gang, welcome back. Another episode on the way for you. Six more wines to taste. As always, big thank you to the guys that sometimes always hook us up with these wines. If Lockie had to pick them all by himself, we'd still be in BWS. They'd have no idea. Um, if you want to get a discount on these wines, in our Discord chat down below, listed in the, uh, what's it called? The description. Yeah, we're a YouTube channel. I understand YouTube terms. Uh, in the description down below, we've got a link to our Discord chat. Not only come there to get the 10% off, come hang out. Like, we always talk a bit of shit. If you've got any flexi wines that you're drinking, we've got a channel that's what are you drinking? You can post pictures of the really expensive bottles of wine and everyone can be like man that's so sick i wish i was drinking it cool little community that we're growing so get involved there and also if you haven't yet please like and subscribe it would mean the world to us uh we're slowly approaching our uh, actually we'll probably be around 1500 or over 1500 at the moment the grind to 2 million starts today guys let's fucking get it wine number one a hazy white wine a little bit of skin contact and here we've got a bit of a cloudy golden number um some would say turbid uh i would just say potentially delicious very cloudy and very challenging on the nose whoa 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 oh it smells it smells great i want this in like body butter weird weird thing to say yeah, already sort of clarifying that 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 lanolin, um, uh, lemon pithy citrus on the nose, like lemon marmalade, black tea, all the really lovely things that you would associate with skin contact whites. I think Lynx Africa would probably be a more appealing smell. Um, okay, here's the thing, right? With natural wine. Say you went to your friend's house in the countryside and you were like, hey man, pretty thirsty, had a long drive, can I have a glass of water? And they poured you a glass of water and you drank it and it tasted like this. You'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with your water supply? But then when it's a bottle of wine, it's expected, so it's okay. It kind of tastes like rusty country with tap water though. Yummy tannin, mousy as fuck. Uh, well, not mousy as fuck, but mousy. Enough to make the wine unenjoyable, which is, oh yeah, it just keeps getting worse too. Very smart wine. Cracking. Um, ooh, a little bit of a mousy back palate. That's that's going to prove a little bit challenging, I think, uh, for me. I just feel that um, that would uh, that would prove way too distracting. It tastes like butyric acid. Is the is the sort of not not this wine. This wine tastes actually quite brilliant. If it wasn't for this mousiness that tastes like butyric acid, which is this sort of like you know that that burning in the throat of the like a bit of vomit. What's a can of solo go for these days? Two bucks from a servo. So that's three seventy five mils. You factor that up, add alcohol to it. That is going to be a 78, nah, it's not gonna be 78 bucks. Uh, it'll be 35 bucks. It's gotta be around that little mark. Solo that's gone wrong. Please, for the benefit of all of us, just keep it. You know, 20 parts, 30 parts per million is not much. Just, just put it in. It's been a long day and I just don't want to drink a glass of wine like that. Just, just please, please. This is, this is a, this is a call to arms to add sulfur. Please. Uh, all right, so uh, moving on to a wine with exceptional clarity. Let's have a look at what we're looking at. I don't know why you'd ever have glasses that have like a layer of white wine between the lenses in your eyes, but you'd be able to see through this. So, you know, if you're gonna do that, use this one, not that one. Smells like uh, a fair bit of acid behind it, backing it up, I will guess. Well integrated reduction, good like whiff of minerality here as well, probably riding on that reductive train. Good little um, full solids ferment, I reckon. Smells like good chardonnay. It's got lemon tart, like a freshly baked lemon tart. Remarkable um, ripeness and drive on the palate. Ooh, texture goes. Length, further, 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 further. So like, just in here, got this sort of like tartness that when you're drinking it, it makes you clench your jaw a little bit, which is kind of cool. I like it. Um, in the same way that when you're having like a sour lolly or something, it just sort of like sucks your face up a little bit. Yeah, it kicks in late with that nice kind of textural nutty ride there. Nice kind of lazy interest here. Acidity is like really, <coughs> like really laser focused. Right. Well, I'm going to spend eighty dollars on this, and I'm going to buy twelve because that is all class, hands down. I would go as far to say Premier Cru Burgundy. God, I'm gonna do it again. It's Riesling. I'll wear that crown again. It's the king of white wine, but I don't think it's gonna be today. I don't. I'm not confident in my Riesling guess. Lucky's shaking his head, which is never a good sign, given that he knows what these wines are. Yeah, that acidity is crackling, and that. Yeah, that cool, like, lazy complexity there is really good. Look, it tastes like like very good quality Chardonnay. Really up there, in fact. That's, uh, that's quite impressive. Orange wine, wine number three. Um, okay, I think that Brett, I think Brett, 
Maybe. But then again, last time we were talking about this, it was a red wine, so maybe not. Eh, I'm still gonna write down Brett. Nice kind of sweet honey profile. Yeah, nice honeycomby thing. Yeah, that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Really, like, luscious on the palate. The attack is not so uh, sort of overbearing or sour or anything like that. You know, what we're smelling in the nose is really coming through on the palate and it's finishing nice and rounded. It's yummy though. Uh, drink the hell out of it, but maybe not to the... Maybe not 12, but six. Take six home with me. Nice kind of like, it has this like kind of almost sugar crystally like structure where it feels like I've got this like layer of like a really fine wafer that I'm just ready to bite into, which is really quite appealing. It makes me want to drink more of this. You know, not this sort of harsh astringency or um, uh, there's not a lot of sort of, I guess, vertical structure to this wine. It actually is just really great, smooth and flowing and easily drinkable. Yeah, hell yeah. 35, $35 in 12 bottles. Cracking example. Dello, like natural, unfiltered, bit of skin contact with Dello, bit of Brett in there, and six of them for $33. $43. Weird amount to say, but I feel like that's that's about right for this wine. Uh, but delicious, that acidity is so refreshing. Well, we've got a, a few wines that have had fantastic acid that are just, you know, leaving me thirsty for more. Exactly what I needed right now. Onto another white wine of brilliant clarity and golden strawed hue. Clean and filtered, just the way we like it. Um, typically I am more of a clean, like filtered white wine kind of guy is what I'm noticing. Like some unfiltered natty things are exceptions to that rule as all rules have exceptions, but generally speaking, this is more speaking my language. Tropical fruits, pineapple, uh, apricot, there's you know, passion fruit, guava, lychee, all that thing going on here. Reminds me of Sauvignon Blanc, but I'm not like put off by it. It's great. Yeah, I reckon that's Sav. And it's a really good Sav. That's delightful. Yeah, it's good fun. Oh, I, I'm stoked on that. I'll take six bottles of that, no worries. What a gorgeous wine. What a gorgeous wine. But I, I feel this is like, like Suave. Like this is one of those great varieties that like Garganaga would be that great variety. That would be really, really hard to peg based on uh, aromats and texture and whatnot because there's so many that really sit in that very similar territory. People think I drink my wine too cold and they're probably right, but like wine like that, I just want it nice and cold because I like refreshing drinks and that would be really chilled and refreshing. I'll have another six of that one. You know, like it's delicious. I, I'm I'm super about this. I reckon it might be as like a Loire Valley special that it might cost me like 65 bucks. There's not really like an established style of crafting these things much like there is like we can see something with really elegant oak handling with a style of oak that is suited for the variety we can immediately go bang on aromats alone i'm like quite confident and that would probably be chardonnay refreshing and watery and watery usually is a bad thing when you're talking about drinks but you know hot day what else is better than a tall glass of water that gets you feeling a little bit buzzed um Wine number five, the melted down butter menthols of the lineup by the looks of things. It's a really nice color, which scares me because usually nice colors means that someone's having a bit of an experiment around. Terracotta or Unico wine, like it reminds me of that. Whoever made this, well done. Not that you need my qualification because I'm pretty confident you already know you're very good at what you do. I'm going to $90 and 12 bottles. What's so impressive is that through the amount of maturation and aging that this has actually gone through, it has retained such a tannic structure. It's like little prickles, little needles of sort of like this like acidy sort of thing. And then you go to like swirl it around your mouth and it starts gripping to the outside. I'm just not used to that. Love that peachy thing. Oh, great. Belter, absolutely. 12 bottles, no worries. Happy to pay 60 here. Will develop excellently in the cellar. That tannin profile is just ready to be sat on for like a good, amount of time yeah wow this is this pretty intense wine we're like we're talking like thousand layers of flavor really condensed really really condensed yeah no that's really cool a dozen give me 12. i reckon it might be expensive 58 bucks no that's not that expensive i reckon it's 70 bucks structure and integrity in the winemaking is built to last and i think this will be fantastic intriguing drinking over the next decade plus i think this is an Absolute excellent wine, and you should 100% get a, get amongst it. And last little wine, uh, we have another golden hued, cheeky little number, brilliant clarity. Sort of really, it kind of looks like you've poured all of these into one and then filtered it. That's the color of it. On that buttered sourdough toast thing, 
Like, and it's it's good good bread and good butter uh, to, to whatever the variety. I just there is no putty wine uh, in the world, so it's just a really distracting smell that's that's particularly unique. Could come from the cork. I don't know how it's been sealed. Got no idea what this is. Like. None. Um, I'm gonna do, do some mouth movements and you can dub Noah saying some intelligent shit over me. An incredible degree of amazing structure here. I've got no idea what this fucking wine is. Yeah, look, cool wine, not too sure the variety. Um, the, the smell is, is kind of distracting on the palate though. Very pleasant, very, very luscious, very vibrant. It's, it ticks like a lot of the boxes. It just doesn't tick one, tick one like big box. And that's like the intrigue and interest that I'm looking for uh, in a wine. It sort of just sits a little bit, a little bit left field for me. An incredible degree of amazing structure here, but it's waiting for something to just kind of just slot right in. Maybe that'll happen in time. It feels like it might. How much is that gonna cost you? Somewhere between like 20 and $150. So we'll go with, we'll go with like, not lucky number 38 because it's usually 38 when in doubt. And I'll have three of them just so I can ask the three people that know more about wine than me. Yeah, I'm gonna take three bottles of it now. Uh, it might, I reckon it would definitely do well in the cellar because it needs some time to develop some extra character to it. I reckon in like 10 years. I reckon in 10 years, this might be looking absolutely belter. And I'm sure there's probably some context to this wine that I'm like missing. You know, there's a reason why it's that way um, that that would make it actually, you know, more important. So I would spend $28 a bottle and I'd buy one bottle. Not for me. Let's see what the other guys are. White lineup to finish the day off here. We've been shooting tastings all day today. How did you find the grand finale? I, I gotta admit, a little bit underwhelmed. Yeah, a little yeah. bit underwhelmed because we've had like, uh, obviously today we've been shooting through a few of these and we've had like a couple of uh, people who find out over the course of a number of weeks. Like we've seen some dope wines. Oh yeah. yeah. Really, 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 really good wines. I just didn't see a lot from that caliber here. I did see a lot of intrigue and interest in different styles mm -hmm. that I think, mm -hmm. and like varieties that I think we're gonna be like, whoa, whoa, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. There's totally Grenache Blanc here. Just okay. seen how many times you've written down 12. Like yeah. really underselling just, how much you enjoyed some of these. Yeah, but I mean, it was really like overshadowed by a couple of doozies. Uh, starting out with wine number one, it yep. looked like solo. It kind of tasted a little bit like solo, but um, it didn't really do it for it me. It went mousey. It went mousey. Oh no, dude. It, it went really, really, mousey. really mousey. I said one glass and 25 bucks. I went one glass and I went the magic number 38. Um, <laughs> oh, rough. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed it at first, like quite citrusy, yep. quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, you got to drink that quickly if you're going to yeah. drink. Well, the time between quick. you guys was maybe yeah. a little bit less. Yeah, drink it quick, share it with four mates, get that bottle done, yeah. delete it, go. Yeah. What yeah. we got? Yeah, so we the magic got the price right. I'm yeah. so sorry if it's someone we know. Oh, it's you know, uh, it is. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Sorry, dude. And salt of the earth. Yeah, I, guy. I bet he's a lovely uh, bloke, but Aaron, he's, it's just not working, man. That one's just he drink it quick. He. The other thing is like he knows what's up. As he, well. yeah, like, he'll, like, he'll say it too. He'll yeah, straight yeah. up. He knows say what's it. up. Oh, he knows what's going on. And and this is the thing. There's going to be a market for those for for these wines. There's a market for for people that um, drink these wines because of a philosophy, um, irrespective of that flavor. That flavor yeah. is a part of that philosophy, and that's okay. It's not for me. Sorry. Also, I've also had a, a few of his wines that have taken a few months to like get over bottle shop and actually develop. Yeah, yeah, the, the Merlot, Merlot was great when I, and then came up and yeah. it was awesome. It was really cool. So like he's like he does hands off stuff. It's zero self or anything like that but when they're great they're really really good and they're very great approachable prices as well uh today this wasn't showing very well um maybe in a couple of months it might look pretty cool uh, yeah. but yeah unfortunately aaron sorry dude but yeah it wasn't it wasn't the vibe moving right along uh why number two it, uptick this one was better huge for me. yeah big uptick yeah. yeah 80 bucks and 12. Wow, okay, yeah. Classic I Chardonnay. Didn't take that much. Uh, 50 bucks and six for me. I have been getting Chardonnay and Riesling wrong all day today. I you thought said that, that was, was Riesling. Riesling. Oh, you sound so disappointed. I do because it's like it's yeah, that's. Did I mix up the really order? Memorize that smell. That yeah, is man. Chardonnay. What the? F I, no, actually, what I said in the tasting was Premier Cru Berg. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was my call on it. Yeah. Damn. Okay. What is it? Okay. 50 bucks. Maybe not Premier Cru. Maybe uh, baseline or really good Oz. Oh, really good Oz, Doctor Reed. Really good, yeah. Back. Yeah, we we tried yeah. this wine last year, loved it. We liked it again. It's great. Again, On form uh, continues mm. to be not Riesling. <laughs> continues to be not Riesling. <laughs> but last year we, we, you and I both called it as Riesling. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Maybe. But yeah, yeah. This year, not so much. You're wiser than me, so I'll be up to it next year. Doctor Edge, can we see a bad wine from them? Because I haven't seen a single uh, wine that isn't absolutely cracking. Uh, no, we haven't seen it on the show. Well, I think we're yet to see it. Um, I, I haven't tried anything bad from him yet. And even his stuff with Meadowbank is crazy good too. 
too. So it's like, he's one of the best wine makers in the country. And he continues to prove it yet again. Yeah. Like, we loved it last year. We loved it this year. Just get this wine. It's just, it's just crap. Wine number three. Uh, yep. Now, I wrote Brett for this one. Is this what Brett is? The smell of that? Or do I just not understand what Brett is? I don't think there's Brett there. Cool. My bad. Um, yeah, sorry, mate. Brett, Brett in white wine's You'll really hard. Six bottles of it for me. Uh, three bottles for me. I grabbed 12. Bucks. I felt that this was literally like wine number one and two had been blended. Oh, uh, you wouldn't ruin the shot. No, you do it. We've got more We've got of it. We've got plenty of it. Can we get the color right? It's not far off. Yeah, <laughs> it's not far off. We've got to filter it. Nah, it's definitely not. <laughs> 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 definitely not. I threw it down for Dello. Yeah, but we've seen the uh, uh, Samos, yeah. uh, the Modelo, very similar in worth, style. Worth the Hail Mary pie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah, we're just like, dying seconds, let's just let it loose. <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah, either happens. that or Aligotse. Um, So, <laughs> 33 bucks I had, how much did you have? 43. Uh, you have 30, 35. 35, how much was it? Ooh, Two. Not a bad buy. Not a bad not buy a bad at all. Vital. Big fan. A good friend. Hey, uh, the screen printer. Shannon. Back at it again. Shannon Blanc. Fuck Shannon Blanc, dude. Oh, oh yeah, man. smashing the Shannons, man. Yeah, it smells like kind of it smells like Shannon, but it's skinsy, so it kind of takes it away to a different point. But yeah, yeah. Barossa Valley Shannon at eleven percent alcohol. Hundred year old Barossa Valley vines, wow, cool. Hundred year old Shannon vines. Oh, yeah, there's some, some of the weird... oldest Shannon in the world. Yeah, sure. there's some weird shit in the Barossa like that. There's some weird stuff, but he does it really well. And I've seen some other interpretations with with Prothery him and um, Sigurd. I'd probably take them the same vineyard and yeah, stuff yeah. like that that are epic. But this is great. Yeah, it's a, it's a delicious little skinsy uh, Shannon. Yeah. Hell yeah. Don't wine. And again, I still wine. love those screen printed bottles. I think they look fantastic. Yeah, and you see that you see that liquid on the shelf. How are you not gonna buy that? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's tasty. like that looks great. It looks yeah, like real tasty. I want that. Wine number four. I thought this was actually, honestly, I thought this was good Sauvignon Blanc. Like actually high quality Sauvignon Blanc. I had 32 and 6, which is maybe a bit ambitious to be honest. 6 and like, 65 for me. Yeah, I reckon the, that's a good shout. Uh, 6 for 40. Oh, okay. Not bad, could not be, bad. Could be, Before could it be. comes up, I did call it Pinot Grigio. So. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I love the label. Yeah, it's cool. That watercolor. Yeah, what is that? Vidicchio. Vidicchio. So you were closest. <laughs> yeah, <with> sure. <laughs> Vidicchio. Well, Italy, <laughs> the Marche. So uh, we're over on the opposite side, the um, Adriatic side of, of Italy. Um, and yeah, Viticchio, the, 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 the classic white from La Marche. The tasting notes they've got here from Sometimes Always, they ought to be, ah, oh, and, and prepare your thirsty taste buds for the awesome <sighs> refreshment. Completely agree. When I was tasting this, I was like, man, all I want to do is drink this cold. Like it doesn't have a lot yeah. of, it doesn't really peak up with acid or anything. It doesn't challenge my palate. It's just really refreshing. Like, hey, look, I did what they that. said on the recommended tasting sheet and it actually worked really well. Mm. It was quite delightful. <laughs> now yeah. for the weirdest and most wonderful in my books. Absolutely correct. 12. 12. Dude. Dude, let's get it. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. You, if we fucked on the last. <laughs> thinking like Rob Bologiel and I'm thinking Radicon. Again, I'm thinking Raddy, Radicon. Again? again, two bottles of Radicon in as many weeks. Yeah, you guys are generous yeah. here. Sometimes there's it's a, a stemminess there too. Um, I had a, I had a dozen of them at seventy bucks a bottle. I had a dozen of them at sixty bucks a bottle. A dozen ninety. Wow, yeah. all thinking the same yeah. sort of stuff. Wow. Yeah. Uh, how much was it? Ooh. Yeah, right in the middle of where we're all yeah, thinking. Yeah, this is yeah. Get it, get it. Pew. Never heard of it. A three, how um, cool. Quentin Tarantino loves this one. Yeah, um, no, I'm not about it, but I'm like terrified of feet. So we literally can't go down this path or I'll throw up. This what do you mean? Oh, dude, no, we're not doing this. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're not doing No, 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 take it off my bar. Take that off my bar right now. No, 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 no. Evan, <laughs> Evan, Evan, I don't like feet. Shannon Blanc! No way. <laughs> that is so cool. I am all about this one. This That's is a new one. That's sick. So yeah. that and that are the same variety. Yep. Is what you're telling me. Yeah, uh, but how, what's the age on that? 2020. Wow, so really back so, age, one year old. Super old yeah, vines, I mean, super old barrels old. for one year old only with a bit of oxygen in the mix, nothing added. It's all natural class, so no no sulfur. That, that is, is amazing. Awesome wine. Wine. Wow. Yeah. That is an amazing wine. I love That's this fucking variety. You can do anything with it. Yeah. That is oh, so fun. cool. That is sick. One number six. What the fuck? I, yeah, what the fuck? One, I agree. Bro, what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. S smell it. Here's another fun smell. Yeah, go um, on. Tell me, because I had no idea. I was just thinking uh, like walnuts or macadamias or either window putty or funny putty. Yeah, like a yeah, yeah like Play-Doh that you didn't make at home. Yeah, like Play-Doh on Wish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I had thirty-eight dollars, three bottles. Thirty-five dollars, three bottles. Twenty-eight and one. All right. Yeah, okay. you fit, yeah. In the price point that it should be. It's gonna be weird. Bandito. Another El Bandito. Okay. An I... Is this another Skinsy Shannon? It is. It is. Bro, how many Shannon Blancs are you trying to give us? Three! Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, 
I had this. I reckon that this this was sealed by cork, yeah? I reckon that, that aroma. No, it's DM. Yeah. I have a bottle of this. Actually, it's not anymore. I had a bottle of this. Mm. In my fridge at home last I deleted a bottle of this last week. Oh yeah, yeah, we picked this up from Lock. Yeah. yeah. And it absolutely did not smell like that. Oh. So there is definitely a bit of bottle variation here. Um, and and not worth sting it for. This was I found it astronomically good. This still smells odd. It does smell odd. It tastes very amazing. strange. Yeah. Yeah, nice wine though. Um, I think there's not too much debate here. Yeah, there's a clear winner. There's a clear winner out of Bang. the, out of the yeah. Chenin Blanc train. There's a clear winner of the Chenin Blanc <laughs> yeah, train. Yeah, uh, And as we can all see, it's the best grape variety on the planet Earth. <laughs> 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 so it is very, very good. Yeah, did anyone no call Chenin Blanc on the about that? No! Oh, of course they were all, we did. They were all skinzy. <laughs> they were so weird. Yeah, skinzy Shannon takes us to another planet. All right, it's time for us to get out of here. Already. Yeah, it's Absolutely. time. We're done for the day. Thank you so much Fine, for joining yeah. us. As always, guys, like and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.